Welcome into episode number 124 of The Voice Behind the Voice. I'm Sean Aronson, the TV and radio broadcaster for the St. Paul Saints, an independent minor league baseball team in the Twin, Twin Cities. Wow, it's not that late in the day. It's like afternoon, I can't speak already. But we are day five of 25 consecutive days without a day off, right? That's where we're at in the season. By the time these 25 days are up, I believe we'll have two weeks left in the season. Not sitting where I would like us to be sitting right now. We are on the outside looking in. We're a game and a half out of first place, and we are a half a game out of a playoff spot. Uh, I'm coming to you on Sunday. Again, usually record these on Monday, but we'll be on the road in Fargo uh, on a bus tomorrow morning, uh, as a matter of fact. And just suffered probably the most embarrassing defeat of the season for us. We played the worst team in the league, and by worst team, I mean they have 17 wins through the first 65 games, and we lost 14-9 to in the second game of the series. The 14 runs they scored, most on the season. The 20 hits they collected, the most on the season. They were the lowest scoring team in the league. They averaged like 3.3 runs a game. It was embarrassing, and it was obviously it was here at home, but got a rebound, play again today, and like I said... 25 consecutive days without a day off, so we'll see what uh, what happens after that. Uh, when we go to Fargo, we are playing the team that is in second place and uh, battling out with them for that second playoff spot or eventually the first playoff spot. Uh, you never know where it's it's going to be. Uh, last week when I came to you from the, the beautiful golf course, I had mentioned that the, uh, the following day uh, was my complete day off. Spend as much uh, time away from the ballpark as possible, which of course I did. I didn't come in. Saw three movies, which has become an annual tradition for me. Uh, it's kind of the all-star break tradition, even though we don't have an all-star break. So I'll give you my, my three movie reviews, uh, if you will. Uh, I started off with uh, Jurassic World, uh, the, the second one, whatever it is, the, the fallen land, the fallen world, who knows, whatever it is. Uh, it was okay. I, I had watched the, the first Jurassic World on the bus ride home from Gary, and I actually thought that one was pretty good. Uh, the, the second one was just okay. Not much of a storyline. Uh, I'm not going to give anything away. But uh, if, you, if you've seen Jurassic World Blue, who uh, Chris Pratt's character trains in the first one, uh, comes back into, into this movie, doesn't have a huge role uh, until the end. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool uh, graphics, CGI, whatever, at the, at the end. Uh, pretty cool ending uh, for that. So that, that was okay. Uh, the next one I, say, I saw was uh, Won't You Be My Neighbor, uh, the Mr. Rogers movie. Look... If you are, I don't know, 20 and older, I would imagine you've watched Mr. Rogers. This is a must-see. You have to go see it. Uh, I am not a guy that gets emotional, with the exception of at uh, movies, TV shows, and commercials. Basically, anything that's got a soundtrack to it that makes it sound sa sad and sappy, uh, I get a little choked up about. Uh, this one had me uh, tear up on more than one occasion, so... Uh, this was uh, this was a great, great film. You have to go see it. It's a documentary, but I'm sure you've you've seen the reviews. If you've wanted to go see it, it is a definite must see. Uh, and then the third one I saw was Sorry to Bother You, which I don't believe is uh, has gotten a major run out there. That it, it, it's being talked about, but in smaller circles, uh, that is a must see movie. I, I will say this. You have to be in the right frame of mind to go watch this movie. It's a little uh, bizarre, a little weird. It's very sci—I don't want to say very sci-fi, but it, it is sci science fiction. I'm not much into sci-fi. Uh, I wouldn't say I was in the right frame of mind to see this because it was the third movie that I was seeing, and so therefore, uh, you know, you're you're into hour five of of watching movies. Uh, it's a little a little weird, uh, but if you're into that kind of thing, and you're going to go see it, make it, you know. Uh, afternoon when you're wide awake and you can really hone in on this movie, uh, I would recommend going to see it for those type of people that like, I don't know if it's an indie film, but it, it plays like an indie film. I think Jordan Peele, who uh, did Get Out, uh, which got critical acclaim, uh, I think he has something to do with this movie. I don't know if he produced it or, or whatever, but uh, he has something to do with it. it it's, a, it's a take on uh, the state of the world, if you will. Uh, but but very, very bizarre uh, movie. But again, if you like that type of thing, uh, I would highly recommend going to going to see it. So there you go. Those are my movie reviews uh, from last week. With that, let's get to episode number 124. It is Steve Fiziok of the Kansas City Royals. One of the nicest guys that I've sat down with, and I've sat down with a bunch of nice people. Uh, you always hear me say that, but super, super nice guy. We did this in the hotel where the team was staying at. 
he's got kind of a, an interesting backstory. And while we were sitting down, he said, look, I think we did this at 1 o'clock. And he said, at 2 o'clock, I, I've got a, a, a call or a meeting, he said, with a publisher or, or someone having to do with the book that he's writing, uh, which we talk about. And at 2 o'clock, he gets this phone call. And uh, I, I had lost track of time. I'm very good at getting that hard out. And so I, we weren't done with the interview yet. And so I sat there for 45 minutes while he was talking to this person that was helping him write the book and promote the book. Uh, the book's not done yet. It's a, it's a second version of a book that he has written. Uh, again, we talk about this book. But it was fascinating to sit there and, and listen to him talk to uh, th- this woman about character structure and, uh, I don't know if dictionary is the right word, but he's got a bunch of uh, characters and places and things like that. And he wants to have a, an area in there where you, know, you can describe uh, what each of these uh, places are. Uh, it, just, it was fascinating just to sit there. I've never really been around anyone that's been writing a book while they're writing the book. So it was, uh, it was pretty cool. We also talk about another interesting moment in his life when he was broadcasting for the Cincinnati Reds. He got married the day that Pete Rose tied Ty Cobb's uh, all-time hits record. And then he had to hold off on his honeymoon because of the fact that the Reds wanted him there and he wanted to be there until Rose broke the record. So we, we talk a little bit about uh, that as well. If you have not subscribed to the podcast, you can do so on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast. Be sure to rate it. Uh, greatly appreciate everyone that has done that. You can also follow us on social media, Twitter at The Voice BTV, Facebook, facebook.com backslash The Voice BTV. You can always email me, thevoicebtv at gmail.com. By the way, someone emailed me like two weeks ago. I have not responded to them. I greatly, greatly apologize with the baseball season. I always keep saying to myself, I'll get it to, to it tomorrow, I'll get to it tomorrow, and tomorrow becomes the next day. I'll eventually write you back, I promise. Uh, it was a very, very kind email, so I do promise, uh, if you listen to this episode, I do promise I will uh, email you. Um, but, again, your emails are always appreciated. Uh, tell your friends, share it, whatever you have to do. All right, with that, let's get to episode number 124. It is Steve Fiziak of the Kansas City Royals. JW, roll the open. I had asked Pete, when are you going to get the hit record? <laughs> and he was not joking. And he goes, August 23rd. And I go, August 23rd? Where did you come up with that number? And he was very good with numbers, as you know. And he said, well, this year I'm probably going to only play against right-handed batters. And I'll probably hit between 260 and 265. So that means August 23rd is when I will break the record because of the uh, percentage of left-handers versus percentage of right-handers that will be pitching. And he had it all mapped out. Well... To this day, my wife and I don't understand why we didn't wait until after the season was over. It was probably because family couldn't be in town, but we made the date for September 7th. 